I'm in my hosting girl era. It's my time. It's my time to shine. Oh, I'm not usually like this. This is why I've been procrastinating this project. Cheers! <laughs> friends how are ya happy halloween for me i know this is coming out like a week later but um we have a fun vlog i actually just dropped moms off at the airport and it's 8 a.m and i am in an encinitas for a hair appointment i i don't want to go with anyone that's not anna but as y'all know anna is on her maternity leave and now we live in different states and i feel like i need to start thinking through what i want my hair to be for the wedding and my highlights are starting to look pretty grown out actually especially when my hair is down there's like a pretty distinct line so i'm thinking about going a little bit darker it's funny because i've been wanting to try that and then i moved here and everybody has like beautiful sun-kissed like beachy blonde and part of me is like hmm is it weird to move someplace where everyone has sun-kissed hair and then go darker but i think i'm gonna still do it anyways tonight is obviously halloween my first time handing out candy as an adult so i'm gonna have a couple friends over i think we're gonna carve pumpkins and bake cookies and watch halloween movies and just chill it'll be fun and tomorrow night I'm hosting a girls night with like eight or ten girls because um, one of our friends is in town from Seattle she used to live here so I offered to host and I think I'm just gonna try to make some fun little fall types of snacks so I gotta think through that menu and maybe go shopping for groceries also need to clean the house because just got done hosting the moms for four days and but that was my my dream of if i you know had a backyard and a house i wouldn't keep it for myself i'd try to like use it for the people around me as much as possible and i feel like i've done a good job even though i'm not settled still still waiting on furniture to arrive and i still want to be the hosty girl so trying to think of if there's anything else big mostly just getting reset hosting some fun things kind of catching up on work um and seeing how this hair comes out i washed it last night so that it would be clean for her to put color in it but i don't think i washed out my conditioner very well it's looking a little a little clumpy but let's try it let's see how it goes she's brunette <laughs> i actually love it a lot um she basically made a plan to like get it ready for the wedding so this time was all just like darkening and toning back to my original color and then next time before the wedding i'm gonna go in and she's gonna hand paint a couple pieces just for like a little bit of natural like texture and sun kissedness she did a great job her name is betsy and it's second place co is the salon and she's completely switched up my shampoo conditioner i've been on the hunt for forever for a good shampoo conditioner so i'm hoping that using this new one which feels great in my hair right now will also help keep my hair a little bit healthier because it's been a struggle to find a good shampoo and conditioner let me tell you what it's been hard anyways happy about that i'm ready for my first homeowner halloween for when kids come to trick-or-treat um costco had a box of 36 full-size candy bars for 24 bucks. I tried to go around and find like cute individually packaged cookies or something that wasn't candy. Um, Cause I remember as a kid feeling like every house had the exact same thing. So I was like, it'd be fun if I got something that like was super out of the norm, like not just candy, but I failed. I couldn't find anything. <laughs> candy it is. So I just finished my most essential work for the day, but I had a really fun idea. Um, Betsy, who did my hair, was telling me how much she uses AI for like everyday things. And I've already brainstormed some ideas, some ideas for like easy little snacks to make for girls. I wanted it to be all like fall themed, snacky appetizer things. But I'm gonna see if I ask, make a menu of four fall themed, easy to make appetizers. Oh, it is typing as we go with the ingredients and the instructions. Okay, pumpkin soup shooters, um, maple glazed bacon wrap dates. We were on the same brainwave with prosciutto wrap dates, butternut squash and sage crostini. I'm gonna write that down as an idea. And it's fourth is caramel apple bites. Apples, soft caramels and chopped nuts, that's it. Melt the caramel in the microwave, dip apple slices, Oh, and then roll the apples slices in the chopped nuts. So now we're asking for five elevated gluten-friendly. This is fun. Stuffed acorn squash rings, mushroom risotto bites, 
cranberry and brie cups and like the puff pastry little shells. Butternut squash and goat cheese crostini. That's also great. Pear and prosciutto wrap. I like the pear. I think pear is the way to go if they have it. I'm just gonna take these ideas to Trader Joe's and see what ingredients they have and kind of just riff off of them and do all the grocery shopping today. And then tonight I think I found a pumpkin cookie recipe that has a cream cheese frosting. So that sounds great. So I'm gonna go get all the things for, for all those different recipes. I thought I was going to have to go to another store to find gluten-free all-purpose flour, but Trader Joe's has it for $3.99, which these days, like Bob's, goes for like $15, but this is a lot smaller of a bag, so I don't know per ounce how that shakes out, but it has xanthan gum in it already, um, so it should, hopefully, hold together just as well as Bob's. I'll be the tester for y'all. I'll let you know. I got everything I need to host two parties feed a lot of girls and groceries for the week for 150 bucks. I'm, I'm feeding like 10 girls tomorrow, three people tonight. It's pretty awesome. Except I did strike out on pumpkins. They said today's the first day that they're out of pumpkins. So I gotta, I gotta go look for pumpkins. Um, and every single employee was like fully dressed out in costume. This sun is sunning right now. <laughs> but it's so cute that everybody's like fully committed to the bit of being in costume. <laughs> Something I love about this home is unloading groceries from the car through the windows out here because then Max won't run out the front door when I'm going back and forth. So I'll come inside, open the windows, and then go back and forth and Max stays inside. But I'm realizing I only have an hour, hour and a half till people get here. I'm really behind today. I'm not usually like this. I did make one impulse buy at the second grocery store. These edible flowers because one of the toasts I'm doing is just the sage and squash toast that the AI suggested to us. And I was like, there needs to be kind of a third ingredient. I didn't want to do another dairy base because we have some dairy free people coming. So the third ingredient is going to be edible flowers. Isn't that fun? And I got some fresh figs for the bacon fig situation. It's just all going to go really well. But I am going to probably put in a podcast clean out the fridge, unload the dishwasher so that I can clean out the fridge and put the Tupperware in the dishwasher so that I could put the groceries away. There's this whole multi-step process. I'm gonna get to it. And I'm looking forward to tonight to baking cookies and carving pumpkins and maybe watching a Halloween movie in the hot tub. If we have time, who knows? Got the house all clean, ready for trick-or-treaters. Candy on standby, pumpkins in the windows. I don't wanna go too far, but I just washed all the bedding from the guest room since mom's left this morning. And um, I wanna go see what the new quilt looks like on the bed when I fully make it. So the window's open upstairs. I'll hear if anybody comes. That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. Ha! I hear kids. It's my time. It's my time to shine. Will anybody ask how I see this play out? I don't say we break up. I see it settle down. Death do us part can be a long time Cause no one knows the kind of people we'll become But you'll make me laugh my ass off in the checkout line And I love the demon voice you make when you wake up And I love realizing we've been talking for hours Sorry but I love when we get on each other's nerves Watch out, we might just outlast each other's Wow. Answers. Cause I love loving each other. <laughs> <laughs> Last night was a very wholesome blast. I gave a lot of kids two candy bars and I still have this many left over. Today, this morning, before we start getting ready for girls night, you know what project I finally wanna tackle? I've been procrastinating it because it's no small thing. My closet. 
my closet has unpacked boxes. It's just a mess and it stresses me out. So I think I just, let's just get it all done. Let's get it all organized. We're gonna have to revise that plan later once Jordy moves in. Um, but I also think we'll get him like a dresser and stuff in there. So hopefully it won't be too, too different. So I think we do that this morning. Jake, who was over last night, is about to come back because he left some stuff here. Since this vlog is unsponsored, fun fact, did y'all know when vlogs are sponsored, sometimes you're not allowed to mention certain other products. So like say if a like skincare brand is sponsoring this video, then for 24 hours before, during, and the 24 hours after the video, you're not allowed to mention any other skincare product. Just a fun, interesting fact. I don't know if you knew about social media and YouTube in general, but this brand gifted me their hand soap, lotion, and in the shower I have the body wash. And I need to read into the ingredients, but honestly, the ingredients look pretty good. Amino acids, jojoba oil, vitamin E, no parabens, sulfates, phthalates, mineral oil, dyes, silicones. All I wanted to say is the scents are incredible. This one is cardamom violet sandalwood. I need to look up their price point because like I said, they just gifted it to me, but this I'm hoping is cheaper than my Aesop and maybe this can be my Aesop replacement because <laughs> I wanted to get new Aesop for this house, but it's so expensive. It's ridiculous. It's not, nobody needs to be spending that on soap, you know? We're gonna tackle that project. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. It's gonna feel so good to have my clothes where I can see it and my shoes. So Max had a friend over last night, Lou, and they definitely found the toys in here. So those are all over the ground. Oh, oh no. Seeing it through the camera lens is so much worse. Um, yeah, we got piles of, that pile of clothes is clean. Actually, I need to fold that too. We got shoes. I don't actually know what's in that box, but it says closet slash storage. We got bathing suits in the little Cezanne boxes. We got new shoes. These were sent to me too. They're so cute. How fun are those? I'm getting distracted. So this is the shoe storage. This height of heel is the tallest that can fit. Um, definitely no like boots or like taller ankle situations. I have these folding things. Um, and like I said, eventually Jordy's gonna have to move in here. So we'll figure that out. And then at the top, there's all of this like upper storage that maybe I'll just put extra sheets and, and things like that in storage bins. I'm gonna put in a podcast and we're gonna, we're gonna just start opening boxes, see what we get. This is why I've been procrastinating this project. It's like. There's not space in there to really go through things. Maybe I'll pull things out into like the bathroom and into the bedroom. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys, there's progress. I can see the floor, which is huge. Actually, let's close this and it will look even more clean. Oh, too many shoes. Too many shoes in there. Okay, <laughs> but eventually it's gonna be, for me, at least laundry baskets here, dresses, jackets. I'll probably move jackets upstairs once this is Jordy's and I'll probably try to reduce my dresses maybe expand this hanger and just have my dresses here. We'll see. I took out some of these middle dividers so I could fit some of the taller shoes, but some are still too wide. So they are down on the ground. I have swimsuits, beach pants, sweatshirts. That's just towels for now. Those are empty for now. Empty, empty, empty. Filming that in the next vlog. I can't wait because there's things I need in there. 
Um, down here I have belts and things, tennis shoes. And up here I have purses and duffel bags. And that's kind of as far as I've gotten. I need to figure out if I'm keeping these storage baskets because they don't fit in my closet and I don't know if I have a use for them, but I don't want to get rid of them yet before I know because I could see myself going out and buying something similar. And then I just have a few other last little things to put away that I've pulled out. This is an empty laundry basket. I've washed all of the bedding that I packed even though it was clean just because I don't trust the move that it didn't get a little bit gross. So once that is all clean, I'll put find a spot to like keep clean sheets. It looks so much better even from here. Like being able to see everything in its own little pocket. There's a last few little things. I'm gonna set it like 20 minute timer, try to do it all in 20 minutes. And then I do think we should head out to the store. I for sure need salt. I wish I realized that sooner. For sure need salt and like do a couple little things before moving into like cleaning, cooking, prep. What is that noise? Me home alone, always worried about noises. I don't know what that noise is. All right, showered without getting my hair wet, which honestly, my hair day two from the um, coloring yesterday, I'm really liking it. Salt, mandolin, towel hooks, maybe some beach shoes because I'm going to the beach every day and I have one, I would say one okay pair of beach shoes and I would like a more casual pair. So if Target, it's now that it's fall, all the beach things are on sale almost everywhere. So I'm just gonna, just gonna peek. Okay. I don't like any of the hook options, so I'm just gonna get a command hook for now so that we need a spot to hang towels. Or this little pack of two is only $2 more. And just use that temporarily and keep my eye out for maybe a cool vintage hook or something like that in the future. Well, I just got home to good news, bad news, and I also saw something that I had to get. Apparently our street's getting fiber internet, which is amazing because Oceanside does not have very good internet and I upload like dozens and dozens and dozens of gigabytes of footage every single week. So that's awesome. I'm so excited to get fiber. The bad news is the guy just stopped me outside and he was like, we'll be doing construction up and down this road for a while and like right in your driveway and everything. And I was like, oh, so I think that they have to dig up the concrete to do that. I don't know for sure, but that is gonna be loud for filming. So I'll have to see how vlogging and everything goes with y'all. And then I got my mandolin. I got my command hooks. Did not find any slides. It's only boots right now. Got salt, but then I got graham crackers. Have y'all tried these? Partake, which is a gluten-free, nut-free, egg-free, wheat-free, dairy-free, soy-free, fish-free, shellfish-free, mustard-free, sesame-free, like the top allergens. They came out with a graham cracker and they are so good. So I got that, this type of marshmallow. Have you seen these? They're like flat squares for s'mores and then dark chocolate and regular chocolate so that if the girls want tonight, we can light up the fire pit, make s'mores. And I just recently got these on Amazon after going to a friend's house that had these and they were so just cute and handy for s'mores. They have the little prongs and they extend isn't that so cute? So I figured I could put out a little s'mores station tonight as an activity. Some girls want to hot tub, some girls are pregnant, so can't. So then we can all kind of like hang out together in s'mores, hot tub, kind of fun. And regular graham crackers for the people that don't want to gluten free. All right, off to work, I'll be back. I'm watching a couple hours of work later. I just finished planning my filming schedule for the whole rest of the year, which feels so good. It's always a lot of mental math, figuring out where you'll be and when and who you're working with and how long of a turnaround the brands need and fitting in with your management and sweet Tara who's editing this video as we speak. So then when I get it all figured out for like a month or two at a time, I don't have to think about what I'm doing when I just open my calendar and I say, oh, today I'm filming that video. Fun, and then I'll do it. The good news is you will be getting, are you ready for this? Five very exciting Europe vlogs. You're gonna be getting three Paris vlogs, one vlog where we'll be staying in a castle near Mont Saint Michel, which is literally spelled Mikel for Christmas, like on Christmas. And then you'll be getting a Rome vlog 
So that is five, three Paris, one France, generally, in a capsule, and one Rome. I'm really excited about that. Um, some of them won't come out till the new year, just based off the holiday schedule and when everybody's taking off. But that'll be so fun, and I feel so much mental relief when I'm like, okay, the whole rest of the year is figured out. And then, and then it's crunch time for the wedding. As soon as we get back from that, it is literally like a month and a half till the wedding after that, which is... Wow. Anyways, it is time for me to start prepping. There's a really fun crudite at one of my favorite restaurants in town. It just has like the weirdest vegetables. One of them, this isn't that weird, but is fennel to dip. And so I got some fennel. I just washed everything earlier. I'm gonna prep all the crudite first probably because that's just a lot of cutting and it won't like get cold because it's supposed to be cold. Then from there, I might start toasting some of the toasts. Oh, the pear and prosciutto I can prep ahead of time and just put back in the fridge. That'll be really easy. All this is really easy stuff, so I'm not worried at all, but the displaying of it will be fun. I will yet again be using the same travertine signs that I made for Anna Shower on their side as platters, and I will probably do that for forever. For forever. <laughs> done besides like getting dressed but here's what we have all completed the dish that ai helped us come up with the prosciutto wrapped pears with arugula and balsamic this one i decided to do fully vegan on a vegan caramelized onion spread with um roasted butternut squash sage leftover cheeses and crackers just for a little something extra this one is the ricotta bacon fig situation i topped it with honey and red pepper and some little microgreens for color and then we have the baked brie bites with cranberry and thyme. And um, the salad I ended up adding in the butternut squash because there was some leftover, but I shaved carrot, pistachio, arugula salad. The piece de resistance, our veggie tray. The edible flowers ended up going here because I found other herbs, so I didn't need them for the other dishes, but I think it makes it look so colorful and fun. I have eggplant, like an olive tapenade, tzatziki, a hummus, so all sorts of different little veggie dip situations. And then outside, I put all the s'mores things for dessert in a little bag. I will have to figure out how to turn on the fire pit. I've never done it by myself. I could probably figure it out. It's probably not that hard. I'm gonna put on clothes and I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog on a montage of girls night. It was a fun little hosty couple days. It feels nice to really invest in community, especially while Jordy's on the road and just like continue to form relationships. And I love hosting and honestly getting back into like food and cooking and baking too has been something high on my list for this year, so that's felt really great as well. But let's go have a little girl's night. Cue the montage. <laughs>